and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Are we ready? Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. We have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today Bob. I'm going to review the advice mm -hmm. I gave to my 57-year-old sister with mm -hmm. knee pain. Physical oh. therapy advice. Are you going to tell us her name? Uh, yeah, I think I can say. I asked her if I could say her age. She said, "Fine, it's Karen." Ka oh, Karen, good, yeah. very nice. Two years younger than me. Well, happy birthday, Karen! By the way, if you it's not her birthday. By the way, oh. if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, if you get a chance, go to bobandbrad.com. We're always doing a giveaway. I give her the balance pad, right? The Peach Choice balance pad. Oh, nice. Um, you can also find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Find a short version of us on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. Our TikTok's been growing. Well, of course. So, TikTok. Karen's been having pain in her knee. It's it's kind of been a, a bit of a chronic thing. Mm -hmm. It flares up. It calms down. So, I thought we'd go ahead and give her some advice of what she should do as going forward. Right. Yeah. So I'm sure there'll be a number of other people who will appreciate this as well. Right. That are in that age. It seems like in the 50s, yeah. that's that's when my wife started having problem right. with her knee. And it's kind of like a rock in your shoe at some point. Oh, you know, it, yeah. That's it, a good analogy. Yeah. Kind of, yeah you got to get that out of there. What? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, that's right. We're going to review that at the end of the video. We got to have people stick around for some reason. Yeah, Same with you. How many yeah, do you have? Yeah. But this is. Mine is shocking. Yeah. So Say no more on that. I, I sent Karen this book. A lot of the things we're saying today is based upon this book. It's a really excellent book. Treat Your Own Knee by Robin McKenzie. What is it, like 12 bucks? Yeah, 10, it's, 12 it's bucks. right in there, yeah, a over it's 10. It's written for the layperson. Right. So, um, if, I, I would say Robin McKenzie is the master on teaching people how to self-treat yes, at home. I agree with that 100%. All right, so let's start off with first thing, Karen, the things you want to avoid. One mm -hmm. thing, I don't want you standing and for long periods of time with your knees locked. When your knees are locked, you're really crunching down on that joint and putting a lot of stress on it. Here, I'll show that a lot. Yep. Yeah. And the fact is, even just prolonged standing, Brad, oh, can yeah. be hard on your knees. And a lot of times you might wear, you want to use a mat mm -hmm. or a cushion in your shoes. Right. But if you're standing for quite a while, what you want to do is actually do a little marching in place. Sure. Now if she gets a little bit of uh, synovial fluid in right. the joint. And the other thing that works out well for that, Brad, is if you're going to stand for a while, every so often sit and oh, just right. give your knee a little bit of a stretch yeah, like exactly. this. It's one of those things. You always want to take a joint, in this case a knee joint, and don't keep it one place. One and position all the one time. One position, go the opposite direction. So here we are. We're straightening it. Now we're going to bend it. It's a wonderful uh, combination. Right, exactly. The same with, I know Karen, she has, uh, she works at home, but she works on the computer a lot. Oh. When you're sitting, you want to avoid sitting with the knees bent more than 90 degrees if mm -hmm. you can. Because sure. that's putting a, a little more stress. I know that seems minor because I'm sitting. You don't think there's any weight on the knee. But there actually is more stress on the knee than if you're like this. Right. Or like this. Right. And if you're like this, what I'd like to see is that like every half hour or so, just set a, I just bought my wife a timer. That, that egg it's a, timer? It's not an egg timer. It's really, I'll show it to you someday. It's All really right. cool. Yeah. But it, it you can just flip it and it goes 30 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So every 30 minutes, I want you to just to go ahead and do a, a couple of these. Kicks, huh? Kick her out, kind of tighten the muscle. Yes. Well, get the out. circulation going, get that synovial fluid in that joint moving, uh, much better for pain control. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So th that's just a way to uh, avoid... Uh, getting that knee, uh, another thing that can cause the pain, right. just even though you're, you're sitting a long time. How about uh, the other thing that works is every 30 minutes, if you can walk a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's always the best thing. Um, you know, I don't know if you can incorporate that in your day, but even if you walk for a few minutes, right. you know, walk to the bathroom or so. Does she sit like this? Uh, you that, that's a problem. Yeah, it yeah. really puts the knee. I don't, people sit like this. You can get your foot warm underneath I know. your thigh, one <laughs> thing, but uh, it's not good for the knee for any Just real time. quickly, Brad, why don't we oh. show about laying, lying down. Oh, lying yeah. down. Lying down. It took Bob. me years to understand the right way to say that. The, very simple. When you're lying on your side, you want a pillow between the legs. Mm -hmm. When you're lying on your back, 
couple pillows underneath your knees, yep. a slight bend in the knees. They're just going to like you, love but, you. But then you got, oh, yeah. oh, you got nothing for your head then. Well, you got to get a couple more pillows. Uh. Just steal them from Dave. Well, you know what I use for my knees? Mm. I use the throw pillows from the couch. Oh, do you really? Yeah, they're a little fatter, a little, you know, because they're really not good for my head. They're sure. too thick. They look good, though. But they work great for under my knees. I don't know. A long time ago, you remember the spry pillow? Oh, no. I, I used that one. Yeah, oh. Between my legs and underneath my knees. Wow. All right. Now, here's a little bit of a few exercises you can do. Now, what I want you to do is first determine if the painful knee has lost some motion. Oh, yes. So what you're going to do, am I okay right here, Mike? So can I have that stool? Oh, yeah. Bob? Absolutely, Bob. There's a nice stool. Yeah. So what you're going to first, you want to see if you lost any motion into extension, which means here's, let's say this is the painful knee. Does it go as straight as the other knee? So if you're going to compare both knees, you can put them up. Does this knee stay a little bit bent and this one's completely straight? I guess if I show it the opposite way. Yeah, it'd be a little easier yeah, to see. If this, is this the painful knee? It doesn't straighten all the way. Right. Even if it's just minor, yep. you need to get that back to where it was. Right. The other one, I want you to imagine, and this one can even go by feel sometimes. I want to see how much it bends. Right. You bend this one, and then you bend this one. And you can a lot of times tell. Oh, like, yeah. I was like, that one just doesn't bend as far. I like to do that with my patients laying down. You can check it in bed because you're more relaxed, and sometimes it's easier. Lying down. Lying down. Lying down. Well, it's going to take me a little while to get that. <laughs> hey, you know, you can bring both up together, and then, you know, yeah. you, you can see, like, oh. Oh, that's not down as far as this one. Um, so, so, yeah, if you find that it's lacking motion one direction or another, you've got to regain that motion, and it'll make a difference in your knee pain. Right. Let's first start uh, talk about the, let's say you're lacking some knee extension, the one we were just doing here. Going straight. Yeah. What you're going to do is you can go put your foot up on a stool and let gravity work on it. Sure. But you can also put a little pressure on yeah. it. Yeah. And you can do this just... You do it. You do it like ten times. Pressure on, pressure off. Or you can grab above and below knee. Yep. Pressure on, pressure off. You could do it like on your couch, kind of like what I'm doing here. Yep. You may have to put something under your heel. Uh, My yeah. wife used to do it on the couch. Uh, she was yeah. a couch knee bender. Yep. Yep. And um, you can also do it like let's just say you're working at the office. You can get to the edge of the chair and just push down like sure. this. Sure. Yep. Now, you can uh, also try it. Sometimes my wife used to get relief when she actually would turn the foot out a little bit. So does this show Mike or not? This is in, this is out. She would turn it out a little bit and then do pressure on, pressure off. So like every hour or so, you just do 10 of these. Sure. Pressure on, pressure off. Some people turn in and you put a little pressure on it. So you go the direction that it, Feels better and feels it better. and it goes a little farther off at yeah, times. It gives a little bit of relief mm -hmm. and, and all that. So if it hurts and your foot goes out and it gives you sharp pain, but it feels better with your toe pointed in, you'll go the side that feels right. better. Right, perfect. All right. So that's for extending. And you're gonna again, you can do that like six times a day, Brad. Sure. Six to eight times a day. And that's what the book will say. I've had people that this has really helped, yeah. amazingly so. Don't get too aggressive with it, though. No, no, that's right. Sometimes it'll be come back at you, so be be patient. Yeah, especially the first couple of days. I had one elderly gentleman do this, and, and he was really getting into it. And he, he did it for, like, I don't know, like 40 to 50 <laughs> times. And the next day he was so sore, he yeah. almost didn't come back in again. And So 10 times is yeah, a good. 10 times yeah. to me the first day. All right, let's say you find out that some of your, your knee bend is not as good as it should be. Well, you can start off just by doing the same thing, pressure on. Sure. Pressure off. Could they do it laying on. down if they wanted Absolutely. to? Absolutely. Like this, pressure right? off. Pressure on. Pressure off. Now, the other one you can do is you can actually you can actually put your foot up on a chair. Oh, yeah. And you can lean forward like this and do pressure on, pressure off that way. This is a good one to do into a stairwell where you have a, two handrails. One on each side is ideal, but at least one handrail. Then you got different levels. Absolutely. And I know Karen right where she could do it in her place. She's oh, got stairs. Oh, uh, really? Kind of multi-level house. Oh, so wonderful. she could. Yeah, she can go ahead and do some She's of those. A, are they carpeted? Some of them, I yeah. think. Okay. So. Well, carry on. All right. Um, you're also going to see that he mentions like 
you know, starting off just by doing some of these, like, as like I mentioned in the chair, chair you know, sure. mm -hmm. he, I mean, he's having you start to do some active extension to start strengthening yep, the some muscle. Of those kicks, yep. And then towards the end, he talked about doing the uh, basically a two legged squat. Oh, what, but what's interesting, what he would do, Brad, is he would actually have you grab onto the door handle. Oh, uh, you know, the door's running this way. Oh, I see what you're and saying. And then he could, you could go down. And sit. In other words, what what he's trying to prevent is having you squat like this and have the knee go over the past the front of the foot if you drop the plumb line. Right. It's just not as comfortable. If you can stay back like this, where the knee stays behind the front of the foot. Yep. And that's why it's easier to do holding on to something like you could hold on to a countertop too. Yeah, like where your sink is. Yeah. You can get your hands around there, and that way. Your balance, you know, you have no chance of falling back. Yeah, we used to do it. I uh, remember we used to do it with the ball on the wall, too. The, the physio ball. Yeah. Because it'd be a lot easier to keep your, oh, sure. your knee back then, too. So g give this a try. And uh, for details, just look in the book, Karen. You'll you'll find out. They do a lot better job explaining than we do. Really? <laughs> well, they got nice pictures anyways. But so... First, why don't you tell me how many brothers and sisters you have? Well, Bob, I don't even begin to compete with your family, but two and two. Two brothers, two sisters. All right. Where was, are you? Well, I'm, I'm right fourth, number four. Okay. <laughs> almost to the end. I was the baby for a long while, then my younger sister came along, and then she got the head Oh, back. too bad. Yeah. You got thrown off the phone. <laughs> uh, I've got eight sisters. Oh, wow. Trying to get in the bathroom. Believe me, that was a chore. <laughs> And I've got two brothers. How many bathrooms did you have? We only had one bathroom for a while. Then he finally remodeled the basement and put another bathroom in. Oh. It was hell. So, <laughs> I can't imagine. Eight uh, sisters plus your mom. That's nine females. There's a lot of... Testosterone? No, estrogen. Was that a lot of drama <laughs> going on? Yeah. We're going to cut off here. Oh, jeez. We better <laughs> shut up. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>